Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a coconut curry shrimp. So for this, I have two bags of shrimp that I'll be using. I'm using the extra large shrimps and they can peel, deven, and tail on. And the size is 12 ounce. So I'm using two of these 12 ounce bags of extra large shrimp. I already went ahead and cleaned my shrimp. If you want a video of me showing you how to clean the shrimp, please like this video so I know that you guys want that video. And I have some thyme and I have one um, habanero pepper. If you don't like your food spicy, you can leave that out. This is optional. And I have one and a half tablespoon of my green seasoning or my Haitian a piece. I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys exactly how I make this spice. And you'll be using one can of coconut milk, not coconut cream, but coconut milk. And I have half a Roma tomato diced up. And I have two tablespoon of diced onions and about one tablespoon of chopped garlic and one and a half tablespoon of whichever oil you choose to use and I'll be using about two and a half tablespoon of my curry powder. You can use whatever curry that you like. This is the one I have on hand and might happen to be spicy. And of course you'll be needing some salt and pepper and that is totally up to you on tasting. So don't forget to check the description box where I will list all the ingredients I use in this video for you guys. So let's get cooking guys. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking my Haitian spice or a piece, put it in there. Just kind of mix it around, make sure every piece of shrimp is coated with that. And I'll go ahead and add my tomatoes in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of the curry powder. Just a little bit so you can eyeball it. So about one teaspoon. So now you're gonna mix it all together. And now take your thyme and just put it in there. I like adding the stem as you guys know. Make sure you wash your thyme and put it in there. And just mix. And now we're gonna put this in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour so it can marinate before you start making your curry shrimp. Okay guys, I went ahead and turned my stove on medium high and now I love to burn my curry when I make curry anything so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my curry in here and just make sure you are constantly stirring this so it does not burn so constantly stir this for a good five minutes just make sure you keep an eye on it because we don't want burnt curry we just want it to be a nice nice dark color okay guys my curry is ready at this point you should be coughing because that smell is so strong so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil and I did reduce the heat to a medium because I don't want my garlic and my onions to burn so I'm adding my garlic and my onion. And I'll allow this to saute for a good two minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. And you want to turn your stove back up to that medium and just cook this for three to five minutes shrimp does not take long to cook at all okay so since we're making coconut shrimp I'm going to remove all the shrimp because I still need to add the coconut milk and I don't want the shrimp to be rubbery at all so I remove all the shrimp Go ahead and 
set that to the side, but not too far. And now you want to go ahead and add your coconut milk. I'll leave a little bit in my pan because I don't think I'll need that whole can. I still have that curry in my throat. So I'll let that simmer down. Let it simmer for a good three to five minutes until that gravy is a little thicker than it's looking right now. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take that shrimp and put it right back in that gravy and just mix everything in. Oh, this is gonna be so good over some white rice with some avocados on the side. Yum. You guys, don't forget to check my Instagram page out and my Snapchat and my Twitter page and also I'm also on Pinterest. And please go subscribe or follow me and please do check out my Facebook page. I'll leave all those links down in the description box for you guys. My Snapchat is fun every now and then. That's when you get to know me. That's when you get to see my face is on my Snapchat. So please do go follow me on all my social medias. And now this is pretty much done. For garnish, I'll just take some parsley and just put over it. And this is pretty much done. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, comment, like, and share. And as always, you guys, you guys are so, so, so awesome to me. Thank you guys so much for always supporting my videos. And I love you guys so much for watching. See you on my next video, guys. Bye-bye.